I'm Stormshield meteorologist Kirsten Horn, and I have been lucky to have been in green country now for a little more than a year. While here, I feel like I have seen it all. Severe storms, large hail, fierce tornadoes, and even some snow. And when it comes to winter weather in green country, my most memorable forecast was the snowfall of January 9th, 2016. What was so interesting about this particular snowfall was that the snow totals varied so much across the area. Most of the Tulsa area residents and those just living to the north towards Owasso saw nearly three inches of snowfall. They were able to sled, make some snowmen, and then some even whipped out those snowboards to take down the hill. But those kiddos living just down to the south, they were not as lucky. Jinx and Bixby saw a mere dusting of snowfall. And that morning for me, it was the first time my little Griffey was able to get a taste of the white stuff. Although he was not too much of a fan as a puppy, I'm sure he's going to be a little bit more curious come this winter season. Thanks, Kirsten, and hopefully Griffey has some snow to enjoy. Hey, when the temperatures start to drop, a lot of us forget that we need to take steps to protect our biggest investment, our home. There are a few things that you can do to save a lot of money in the end. Clean out your gutters and disconnect and drain outside hoses. Insulate walls and attics and make sure to weather strip doors and windows. This will save you on heating costs. Also, repair roof leaks and remove branches that could get weighted down with ice and heavy snow. For more preparation advice, log on to KJRH.com. You'll also need to make sure you are paying attention to your garden this winter. It's imperative that you protect your plants if you want them to make it to spring. Storm Shield meteorologist Taft Price has some advice on what you can do right now to protect your garden. So Taff, you asked me to come up with the most important weather-related gardening tip. Yes, I did. That was easy. Really? The importance of watering in the winter. Watering in winter, easy to remember. But it seems almost counterintuitive to people, and yet it's so important. And evergreens are the most important thing you have to water in the winter okay. because they're still growing. Hmm. They haven't lost their leaves. They're still growing, slowly, but they're growing. But I'm not talking just evergreens. I'm talking deciduous trees and shrubs, perennials, even the lawn. Really? Okay. So here's the deal. Invariably in January, we get one of those 52 degree days, right? Yeah, warm day for January. Okay. That's when you want to bust out the hose and just deep soak everything in your landscape. Okay. I mean, just if, regardless of the system you're using, but you know, if you use an oscillating sprinkler, set it out there and just let it go. Okay. You want that water to percolate deep down into the soil, and that's going to help the plants. Because here's the problem. People bring in plants, say, late spring, early summer, and they're dying, okay? Or they show us pictures, whatever. Well, they're dying not as a result of the heat that's coming on. It's a result of the failure to water in winter. Okay, so you tell us we don't need to get out there whenever it's 15 degrees. No. So you're saying no on that. But on those days, and we know we get them in the winter time, where we get a few warmer days out there. Sure. Get the hose out there and make sure everything's watered nicely. Yeah, and then, you know, you still want to go ahead and disconnect the hose, maybe put one of those little protectors on the faucet and that sort of thing. Because we know what will happen if we leave the hose out. Exactly, because then we're going to have one of those 60-degree <laughs> days. <laughs> but uh, it, it really is the most important thing to keep in mind in winter. You know, if rainfall is plentiful, not so much an issue, but you never know. All right, watering in the winter. That's the, the tip of the day. That's it. All right, thank you. All right, thanks, Taft. Thanks, Paul James, the garden guy, with those expert tips. And remember, when the Storm Shield weather team forecasts freezing temperatures, if you can make sure to bring your plants inside, if not, you can wrap them with sheets or thick blankets. Another big investment that needs preparation for the frigid winter months is your vehicle. First, Check your battery, tires, and fluids. Have an emergency kit, including jumper cables, a shovel, and blankets in your vehicle. And if you stall, stay with your car. Clear the exhaust pipe and run the engine to stay warm. But don't let the engine idle for a long time with the windows up or in an enclosed space. That can be dangerous. Oklahomans mostly think of tornadoes as spring weather threats, but last winter proved that they can strike at any time. We take a look at what we learned from the North Texas tornadoes that killed more than 10 people last December. Plus, winter can be dangerous time for our pets. Storm Shield meteorologist Kirsten Horn has advice on how you can protect your four-legged friends when the temperatures drop.